Hello friends, this video on lines and angles part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's take another pair of angles that is vertical opposite angle. So in this case, we'll not use exam, we'll use theorem, we'll try to prove it. Okay, so let's see what happens when we have vertical opposite angles. There are two lines, they intersect. This is angle 1, this is angle 2, this is angle 3, let's suppose this is angle 4. Any name you can give, you can make this as 1, 2, 3, 4 you have flexibility of doing this. So in this, there is a theorem. There is a theorem, we'll prove that theorem first. Because theorem is something which you can prove using axioms. So there is a theorem that if two lines intersect each other, then vertically opposite angles are equal so in this case angle 1 will be equal to angle 2 angle 3 will be equal to angle 4 okay so please note this is theorem this is not axiom that means we have to prove it right we can't just say that you draw this uh, lines and just measure this angles in using uh, protector you can't do that because it's a theorem you have to prove it now so let's prove it so we have to prove it since this is a theorem so we have to prove it so we have to prove that angle 1 equal to angle 2 and angle 3 is equal to angle 4 and we'll prove using axioms okay now if you know that this is a straight line let's suppose this is line l this is line m since line l is a straight line i can say that angle 1 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degree using axiom of linear pair of angle right since L is line same thing I can say that 1 plus 3 is 180 degree okay similarly 1 plus 4 will also be 180 degree because M is a uh, line so angle 1 plus angle 4 will also be equal to 180 degree again exam of linear pair of line, linear pair of angles right since in this case m is a line so this is equation 1 this is equation 2 if you compare these two equations angle 1 plus angle 3 will be equal to angle 1 plus angle 4 because both are equal to what 180 degree correct so I'll remove this 180 degree for now so comparing these two equations, I can say that angle 1 plus 3 is equal to angle 1 plus 4 equates uh, concept. If both are equal to 1 equal, then that means they are equal. So angle 1 plus 3 is equal to 1 plus 4. So angle 1 and angle 1 cancel, you can say that angle 3 is equal to angle 4. This is what we have proved. Similarly, I can prove that angle 1 is equal to angle 2. So please note here, since I am not asking you to actually measure this in fact if you measure from protractor it will be true for any case but since i'm not asking you to do that i'm just using the axiom of linear pair of angles to prove this this is a theorem please understand why it is a theorem a lot of students get confused on axioms and theorems why it is called axiom why it's called theorem the linear pair angle axiom we actually showed you that using with observation we have seen that if the sum of two angles are 180 maybe we call it a as a linear pair of angles that was the observation in this case vertically opposite angle we are actually proving that angle 3 is equal to angle 4 here or angle 1 is equal to angle 2 by using axiom so it is a theorem okay so let's take some example on this vertically opposite angles so line PQ and RS, these PQ and RS, they intersect each other at point O. That means it is forming a vertically opposite angle. Angle P, Q, P, O, R. If P, O, R and R, O, Q. See, it's difficult to understand R, O, Q. Right? P, O, R and R, O, Q. They are 5 to 7. So I can say that, first let me write here. P, O, R by angle ROQ is equal to 5 by 7 okay then 
I can say that angle POR is equal to 5x and angle ROQ is equal to 7x. Why? See, if I am saying POR is equal to 5x and ROQ is 7x, if see it comes out to 5 by 7. I can write that. Right? So I'll write that angle POR as 5x directly here. And ROQ I can directly write as 7x. Okay. So we need to find all the angles now. Okay. So now, just by observation, I can say that this is seven x. This will also be seven x. Right. This is these two angles are vertically opposite angle. Angle POS and ROQ. Similarly, angle POR is five x. So this angle will also be equal to five x. Vertically opposite angle. Just this you can write for your reference. Right. Now if you see that, we have to write in maths first. This is pretty easy, you can just solve it. These two angles, if you add 5x plus 7, that is 12x, and that is 180 degree, right? That is a linear pair of angles. And you can find the value of x. Once you add the value of x, you can get all the values of the angles. Pretty easy, okay? But for exam perspective, we have to actually write the steps. So you can say that, let angle P or R is 5x and R Q is equal to 7x. Then angle this POR and ROQ, angle POR plus angle ROQ is equal to angle POQ is equal to 180 degree. Right? You can see that linear pair axiom. Let's put the value POR is 5x plus ROQ is 7x is equal to 180 degree. Or you can say that 12x is equal to 180 degree, or you can say x is equal to 15 degree. Since x is equal to 15 degree, I can say that angle POR is equal to 5x is equal to 5 into 15 degree is equal to 75 degree, and angle ROQ is equal to 7x, that is 7 into 15 degree, that is 105. So since we have these values, I can also, so we have, it has to find all the angles now, right? So I have found uh, this angle, this angle. So let's find these angles. So I can say that angle, let's suppose POS is equal to angle ROQ. Why? Vertically opposite angles. So angle POS is equal to what? 105 degree. Similarly, angle SOQ is equal to angle POR and is equal to 75. So we have found all the angles, right? So that is for writing, but actually when you solve, it is always good to write these values here and you can actually first solve it and then you can write the same thing in the statement. So if you write, try to write the statements in this fancy way, it is difficult to solve geometrical problem. First understand the problem, put the values, solve it on your own rough people. You have all the values, then you can write in simple English. Okay, I'll show you some more examples. Understand the approach of solving these geometrical problems. First, solve it and then write in plain English. Let's take this example. Ray OS, there is a ray OS, stands out on line POQ. POQ is a straight line. Mention ray OR and ray OT. These are angle bisector of these angles. Okay. If POS is X, POS. If this whole thing is X given, so just you can make out this whole thing is this, this whole angle POS. This is X given. This will be what X by 2? This will be what X by 2? Correct. Why? Because this is bisector. Right? RO is bisector of angle. SOP. So this both angle will be S by 2, X by 2. So this whole thing is X, this angle SOQ will be what? 180 minus X. Correct? SOQ is what? SOQ is 180 minus X. So SOT will be what? 180 minus X by 2. Similarly, TOQ will be what? 180 minus X by 2. So we have to find ROT. Where is ROT? 
ROT. So we have to find ROT. So ROT, if you see, ROT is nothing but x by 2. Let me find first. Angle ROT is nothing but x by 2 plus this angle SOT, right? Because ROT, if you see here, it has two angles. So ROT is this angle plus this angle. This angle is x by 2 and this angle is 180 minus x by 2. This cancel. So what you get is 180 by 2. That is 90 degree. So this angle RO2 will be 90 degree. And we know the solution now. Now since we know the solution, we can write plain English. Okay. So we can write that angle ROT is equal to angle ROS plus angle SOT. You will see how difficult it is to understand with this way. So we have to find angle ROS and angle SOT. Okay. So angle ROS is what? Half of angle SOT. ROS is half of angle SOT plus angle SOT is half of angle SOT. Right? Is equal to SOP plus SOQ by 2. An angle SOP plus SOQ is what? 180 degree. Is equal to 180 degree by 2. And that is equal to 90 degree. So you can use this way also. There are so many ways of solving it. So in this case, if you see, we didn't even use the uh, given value x. Okay. My only advice to you guys is in geometry, Try to put all these values x, x by 2, angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, so that you can visualize it properly. Solve it. Once it is solved, you can write a plain, plain English. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.